Hi folks, Canadian Prepper here. So we are at the store that doesn't make any sense whatsoever. Uncle Wieners. On the logo is what looks to be a wiener or a pickle who is very excited to be here, as are we. We're gonna go check out all of the cool prepping and survival items that they have in this shop. I guarantee you, you're not gonna see a lot of this stuff anywhere else. So let's get to it. Here we are inside Uncle Wiener's Wholesale. I know that sounds very inappropriate, but it is what it is. So this is a wholesale uh, liquidation place. They have all kinds of unique novelty items. So let's just take a look around. Now behind us here, 260 bucks for a portable dinghy of sorts. Something like this might come in handy after SHTF. I don't know how good the quality is, but hey, it's not bad for 260 bucks, I must say. But uh, yeah, you just never know when you're gonna need to bug the hell out on the water. Everybody's gonna need a place to go SHIT after SHTF. You could always just use a bucket or dig a hole in the ground too, that works. They pretty much have everything at this place. It's a very unique blend of different items that make no sense going together. Like here we, have, we have glows, we have uh, what looks like a inflatable yacht system right next to a baby ducky. So this one here has a 11 kilowatt, 15 horsepower motor on it. That one's 1300 bucks. A portable motor boat. Don't see that too often. Everyone's gonna need an African bongo drum after SHTF because things are gonna get tribal, right? You're gonna need this for when you go on that next uh, raid and pillage into the post-apocalyptic wasteland. Hey, look, full female body mannequin, just in case you get lonely after it all goes down. <laughs> this is a place where a lot of people are gonna look, overlook when people start panic buying stuff. So come down to Uncle Wiener's if you wanna get all your SHTF doodads. What else we got here? You could use one of these. It's a pressure sprayer. This is a uh, manual pressurized. So you can use that with your bleach or your uh, calcium hypochlorite solution to disinfect an area. Portable pickup truck camping tent. Probably made in China, but hey, you know. Up next is the portable tankless hot water heater kit. So this is propane, I believe. These things actually work very well. Hot shower, you can charge for hot showers after it goes down, but make sure you have a very large supply of propane. Here we got something that might come in handy for survival. This is a metal single door animal trap, mouse trap. There was a show called Alone, and one of the things that drove the guy crazy was the mice. So not only for a means of sustenance, but also just to get rid of a nuisance because mice will be a big problem, especially in your food pantry. Oh, this is cool. I'm gonna pick some of these up. These are grow bags. Prevents roots, circling, air prunes, plant structure, keeps plants warmer and cooler, better than plastic containers made with high quality non-woven fabric. That's something we're gonna have to try in our indoor garden. Oh, this is cool. This is just a house, but the idea is right. So rabbits are a, apparently a great thing to breed on a homestead because they multiply really quickly and they're a great meat source and they don't require a lot of food. Now this is something you don't find at Walmart. It's a prefab chicken coop. Uh, I think something like this is a great little starter kit. If we're, you know, trying to have a protein source on our micro stead, chicken coop and a rabbit hutch. So I'm definitely coming back for one of these. This is something we might be able to use in the prepping world. This is a mini greenhouse. This might come in handy, you know, for our climate. Extend the growing season a little bit. I know the communist cameramen are gonna like this one. Indoor grow tent. Hydro. <laughs> we gotta get that on there. <laughs> I can tell the, the camera guys are, are really liking this section. 
Uh, you can get a uh, bigger grow light system. It's got all the ventilation and all that stuff. This is the uh, red blue light, but this is the one we actually use. So this is the, the light that uh, we use for our indoor garden, vegetable garden. It's a 2000 watt grow light. I believe these are like 399, 400 bucks. Something like this could possibly come in handy, but uh, this may make life a little easier if you're harvesting a lot of firewood and it's just a rolling firewood carrier. The only potential downside with that is that the wheels are pneumatic. So if you pop them, you're basically screwed. They do have portable wind turbines. It says it's 600 watts, but I don't, I'm not sure about that. We're gonna actually test one out because I bought one and we're gonna mount it to a, a pole. We just need the flange and uh, we're gonna see if it actually generates 600 watts. They got egg incubators. So if you know something about chickens, let me know if you think that this would be a good thing. They even got milking devices. Are you gonna find this at Walmart? I bet you won't. Everyone's gonna need their beekeeping suit when they build their SHTF apiary. They got lots of bee related stuff here. You can get a beehive, automatic honey machine. Honey is gonna be worth more than gold. It has a lot of really good properties, some of which are medicinal, but it's nature's, nature's sugar, nature's candy. The most generic food dehydrator I think I've ever seen with uh, very sophisticated packaging that was printed using an Epson printer. 200 bucks, why not? Your distiller, and it's even got the Uncle Wieners logo on it. So you know this distiller was made for Uncle Wieners. I'm telling you guys, you know, if it really gets bad, these types of professions, you know, this, this could be your, your forte after it all goes down. Everybody has to have at least one essential skill. And if you can make beer and alcohol for the community, you will be widely revered. Even though a lot of this stuff is not like the highest quality, obviously, it's still nice to see all of this stuff in one place. If you start your uh, solar powered post-collapse brothel. <laughs> so this is a good idea. If you can't afford a actual surveillance system, just get a dummy camera. I mean, what is this, like 10 bucks or something? You can get those off Amazon too. What would this be for, for like rabbits? I guess they felt the need to write rabbit twice. <laughs> just in case they forgot, rabbit, pig, chicken, rabbit. So I'm presuming that this is gonna make food out of grains or something? Yeah. This is the weirdest assortment of shit you're ever gonna find. Right here, we have a lithium power solar generator. And then just pan up, we have boob lift tape right above that. And then over here, we got some anal beads. And then what do we have going up here? A uh, luminous butt bucket. I don't even, oh, okay, that's for cigarette butts. This one section here is the most diverse section in retail history. And right down the road from anal beads, we have the survival tomahawk, a very sophisticated piece of equipment engineered, currently on sale for $13 marked down from $20. That actually looks like a really sturdy shovel. All steel, steel handle. That's probably one of the highest quality things we've seen here so far. You know, when I asked the owner if we could do this uh, tour, he was like, yeah, he was really excited about it. So I'm pretty sure he's a prepper. <laughs> Window door alarms. These are good for uh, just makeshift security systems. Make sure you have a carbon monoxide detector, especially if you're using a wood stove in your house. Some kind of uh, water pump would be a good idea, especially if you had to move water from some place that's at a uh, low elevation to a high elevation. It can make your life a lot easier. Of course, you're gonna need a power source. They are hogs. I think they take around this one here, 110 volts. I don't know how many amps it is. I'm gonna assume it's about 1500 watts or so. Hydraulic jack probably has a variety of uses besides just vehicle maintenance. If you have to lift something up or move something or for construction purposes. Tactical rifle case. It's actually got a bit of weight to it. Some foam in there. 
This is for uh, Diesel. It's actually not, not a bad idea. Fuel tank. You need a place to store your fuel. Here's a uh, gasoline powered water pump. If you actually have fuel at your disposal. They got a few generators here, but 1800 watts, 600 bucks, you're better off, uh, in my opinion, saving up for a lithium one. Some cannibal chains, when you got to string them up, some tire chains, some pulley systems, you never know pulleys. There was a show, I think it was called the Mosquito Coast with uh, Harrison Ford, and uh, he was all about going off the grid. And his whole thing was using pulleys to just create these different machines that allowed him to move a lot of stuff and move water. And it was a really cool movie. Go check that movie out. Can't go wrong with a good old sturdy piece of steel. You can do a lot with that. It's only 20 bucks. Ah, guys, this is proof that everybody is welcome at Uncle Wiener's in this oasis of concrete. This little weed persists and it's a sign that this is a place where things are gonna survive. If you wanna survive, you gotta come to Uncle Wiener's. So that was our grand tour of Uncle Wiener's wholesale. If you wanna get some nifty ideas for your uh, post-collapse homestead, come on down and check it out. Like I say, the quality is kind of hit and miss. There's definitely a generic Chinese vibe to some of the stuff. If you want the really like premium survival and preparedness products, you gotta go to canadianpreparedness.com. But I'll tell you what, it's not often that you find a collection of things that they're selling here all in one place. It's definitely a place to, in the very least, give you a lot of ideas for stuff and it's actually a really good place to get grow lights. That's where we got all our grow lights for our indoor vegetable operations. Oh, and one more thing. Don't steal from Uncle Wiener's or else you're going to be famous for reasons you don't want to be famous for. So this woman is now even more famous because she's on the Canadian Prepper Channel. All right, guys, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Canadian Prepper out. Is that a f***ing pickle? Nothing makes sense. <laughs> the best way to support this channel is to support yourself by gearing up at CanadianPreparedness.com, where you'll find high quality survival gear at the best prices, no junk and no gimmicks. Use discount code PREPPINGGEAR for 10% off. Don't forget, the strong survive, but the prepared thrive. Stay safe.